Good afternoon. Two men from Handsworth in Birmingham have admitted travelling to Syria to fight with a group linked with Al-Qaeda. Nahim Ahmed on the left and Youssef Sawa, both 22, flew to Turkey telling their parents they were going on holiday only to cross the border into Syria. Eight months later, they were arrested when arriving back in London. Detectives were able to prove they had been to a conflict zone. Both pleaded guilty in court today. Post-mortem examinations are revealed the couple found dead in Solihull yesterday died from stab injuries. The bodies of 58-year-old Pin Chang and 50-year-old Koi Chang were found just after 5 o'clock yesterday morning at a house in Hermitage Road. A 23-year-old man is under police guard in hospital after being arrested on suspicion of murder. Forensic experts are still at the scene. A rogue trader who ripped off pensioners with extortionate fees for poor work has been jailed for 25 months. 24-year-old Harry Smith's victims included a 71-year-old woman from Solihull who he billed for almost £2,500 for work later quoted at just £400. His other victims included those with Alzheimer's and dementia. Smith was arrested when he escorted an 83-year-old woman to the bank for her to withdraw cash to pay him. He admitted one count of fraud by false representation. About 200 people were evacuated from a hotel in Birmingham city centre this morning after a fire at a kebab shop underneath it. Eight fire engines went to the Hilton Hampton Hotel on Broad Street at around half past six and the fire was extinguished by eight o'clock. The hotel manager confirmed all guests were out safely and moved to other hotels. Further public consultation is underway into two schemes to compensate people living near the proposed route for HS2 between Birmingham and London. The scheme gives people living nearby the chance to claim a cash payment if they don't wish to relocate. It follows consultation on government plans to buy homes very close to the line at the value they would have been if there were no plans for high-speed rail. The latest consultation ends in September. Paula Radcliffe is to lead a field of professional and amateur runners on a race around Worcester. The 40-year-old marathon world record holder is taking part in the 10-kilometre event in September. Organisers hope her presence will encourage more people to sign up. Let's hope they have blue skies for that. Let's find out if we're going to have them today. Here's Lucy Kite. What's in store for today? ITV Local Weather, sponsored by Centre Parks. Hello. Well, although it's warming up as we head towards the weekend, we do have some much needed rain to come over the next 12 hours or so and into Thursday as well. So this afternoon, it's a case of sunshine and showers. These downpours, well, they're likely to be quite heavy, maybe even the odd rumble of thunder as well. But in between some drier spells, some prolonged sunshine to look forward to. Highs of 19 or 20 degrees Celsius. The showers will linger for a time in northern parts of the region through this evening, but then we'll see some late evening sunshine. It's going to be a pleasant evening with these breaks in the cloud. It will then stay dry overnight and temperatures will hold up in double figures in towns and cities. A little bit cooler in the countryside. ITV Local Weather, sponsored by Centre Parks. The Pollen Count, sponsored by Checkertrade.com. Check a trade, check a trade dot com. Well, the unsettled weather shaking things up quite nicely, washing the pollen out of the atmosphere. So we're looking at moderate levels through today and tomorrow. <laughs> There's more new sport and weather at itv.com slash central, including the latest on more developments today at Aston Villa. I'll be back with Samina for Central at 6, but until then, from us, bye-bye. <laughs>